Installing a Lutron occupancy sensor isn't difficult. You can do it yourself in about 15 minutes. Here's how. First, gather the tools you'll need, which include the mounting hardware and wire connectors that came with your sensor, as well as a Phillips head screwdriver. You may also need a flathead screwdriver to remove your existing switch, as well as wire cutters and a piece of electrical tape. Next, identify which light switch you want to replace with the occupancy sensor. Then, turn the power to that switch off at the breaker. Test the switch to make sure power is cut off before continuing. You should also carefully pull the front and back pieces of the sensor wall plate apart. A trick you might find useful is to attach the back piece, called the wall plate adapter, to your sensor before installing it. This helps ensure a straight, clean installation. Now you can unscrew the switch from the wall. Pay close attention to the wires in the wall box that are connected to the switch. If the switch is a single pole switch, meaning it's the only point of control for that light, it will have one bare copper wire, which is your ground wire, and two insulated wires connected to it. If the switch is a three-way switch, meaning you can control that light from more than one location, it will have one bare copper wire and three insulated wires connected to it. If you are working with a three-way switch, use the piece of electrical tape to tag the wire that is connected to the screw terminal whose color is different than the others. This is most likely a black screw. This terminal might be labeled common on the switch. Now you can disconnect all the wires from the switch. Next, you'll attach the occupancy sensor to the wall box wires. If you are installing a single pole sensor, you'll see two black wires, a bare wire, and a green insulated wire. Use a wire connector to connect both of the wires to the bare copper wire in your wall box. Note, if you are installing a three-way sensor in a single pole application, you'll see that the three-way sensor also has a blue wire. You won't need this wire, so you can simply cap it off with a wire connector. When you connect the wires, make sure you don't leave any bare wire exposed. If you are working with a three-way sensor, connect the blue wire from the sensor to one of the insulated wires which does not have the tape tag on it. Connect one of the black sensor wires to the tagged wire in the wall box. Then connect the other black wire to the remaining insulated wire in the wall box. Push the wires back into the wall box and mount the occupancy sensor to the wall box using the screws that came with the sensor. Tighten the screws until the sensor is tight against the wall. In a three-way application, you will need to modify the wiring on the existing companion switch that remains in place. Tag the wire connected to the screw terminal whose color is different from the others. Next, disconnect the traveler wire from its screw, located on the opposite side of the switch from the tagged wire. Then disconnect the tagged wire and secure it to the disconnected traveler wire and the black or yellow jumper wire provided with a wire connector. Connect the jumper wire to the screw the tagged wire was originally connected to. Push the wires back into the wall box and mount the switch to the wall box using the existing screws. Now you can turn the power back on at the breaker. If you want to customize your sensor settings rather than use the default settings, you should change them before you attach the front of the wall plate. Have additional questions? Please call our 24-7 technical support line 1-800-523-9466.